Welcome to Drawn for webinar, Dental Implants. Everything you need to know before you go abroad, which we will present on behalf of our dental clinic, BDENT. Allow me to thank them. Good evening, Dr. Andrea. Hi, hello. Good evening. Uh, it's nice to hear you. I, I hope everybody can hear you and me. Uh, yes, and I, I wanted to say hello. Uh, I'm your host, Dorothy. And as I said, this is a Dental Implants Friends uh, webinar. And today's topic is all on for dental implants. Uh, our presenter today is Dr. Andrea Burazin-Kurti from BDENT Croatia, and she will tell you everything you need to know about all on four. Dr. Andrea? Hi, hi, start. Dorothy. Thank you. Uh, first, uh, and I would like to thank uh, Dental Implant Friends and Dorothy and Arthur for inviting us to do this webinar to explain the whole process of installing all on four systems from start to glittering. We also hope that we will succeed in eliminating you with all concerns given the procedure of pain and whether it is risky. So let's start. Who we are. Many of our patients say that uh, we are a team with a big heart because at the beginning we managed to gain their trust and at the end of the treatment we become friends with them. They say that we have changed our overall opinion about the dentist and to show the maximum effort and patience in our work. That patience is very important in this business. Let us introduce this way too. This is my colleague, partner and friend of the student days with whom I share all the bad things and everything that is happening in our business. And we have been working together for 15 years now and I hope for a lot of such successful years. And this on the left side, that's me. I do not think I need to be too much presented because dental implant friends have already announced and presented me. And once again, my name is Andrea Burazin Kurti and uh, good evening to all participants of this webinar. The name of our clinic is BDENT and we are located in Zagreb, which is the capital of Croatia. Hopefully you know where Croatia is located. And if you have not visited us, I invite you to visit us. I would like to ask all of you to read this sentence because it always raises the question of why we need to worry about our teeth so much. Why should we keep them clean and healthy? And why are they so important to us? Answer is, in the first year after losing a tooth, the jaw loses up 25% of the bone in the area where the tooth was. If you lose more and more teeth in a row, bone loss is increased, so subsequent healing or replacement of teeth in these positions is more time consuming and expensive. If you have many missing or failing teeth and the lack of bone in either the upper or lower jaw, the all on four technique can be a life changing dental treatment. This impact method allows the placement of a full arch immediate bridge and avoid situation in which we need to get your smile done. We in BDENT have treated hundreds of patients who have had missing or compromised teeth that no longer function, as well as those who have been living with dentures that have, that have become ill-fitting as a result of diminishing bone in the jaw. All on four dental implants are an easy way to replace missing teeth or dentures using modern technology and materials. They are perfect if you have dentures or are missing many of your natural teeth. So let us tell you something about Olon4 and his benefits. When replacing your teeth with dental implants, you are having a foreign body installed in your jawbone. That is why it is important to know if implants are made of biocompatible materials. Dental implant is a tooth root replacement, so it should be made of titanium. Why is titanium? Because titanium is strong, lightweight, non-toxic and corrosion resistant metal. And also, what is very important, it is using in medical industry for decades and it has a long term success. Now I will tell you what is Olon4. Olon4 consists of four titanium implants inserted into jaw. These implants act as a foundation for a bridge a fixed set of teeth which will look like your natural teeth. All on four is a very good solution when you have bone loss because the posterior implant 
are titled at 45 degrees. Their position reduces the need for a bone grafting and can provide you a perfect stabilization for prosthetic solution. All on four procedures. Before the surgery, you need to take X-ray and CBCT scan so the doctors can put a picture in software to plan the therapy and make a protocol. Also, on impressions, photos and other measurements are needed to make your new smile perfect. Uh, the next step is operation. Following consultation process, implants are inserted in its position. When the surgical part is over, prosthetic part starts. We are taking an impressions and your new teeth will be fitted and adjusted with a 24 hour period. The acrylic bridge is placed temporary while you wait for the implants to heal. Usually that takes three to six months. We would like to note that the new bridge is fixed with screws to the implant and it cannot be removed by yourself. Only dentists can move it. Although these teeth look, feel and function like natural teeth, they are not your final teeth. Be very careful because you don't want to be sold temporary acrylic teeth under your permanent solution. For permanent teeth, you can choose from variety of precision manufactured CAT CAM suprastructures in titanium or zirconium and combine these base with acrylic, composite or porcelain crowns. As you can see in picture, this is the base of permanent prosthetic work, what is a major difference of temporary acrylic prosthetic. Benefits of all on four. All on four give you a great looking set of teeth in only one procedure. It is a good treatment when patients need to replace all of their teeth. It can eliminate the need for bone grafting because the implants are angled. You get a new fixed teeth in 24 hours. It is comfortable and affordable procedure since only four implants are needed for upper or lower support. This keeps the cost well within reason for most individuals seeking dental implants. The procedure is quick and painless. We do it under local anesthesia and it is done in the most two hours. It doesn't hurt at all, really. We had one patient who we did all on four. In 24 hours, she got her temporary teeth and we were in hurry to put it and fix them uh, because she needed to go to the National Theater after visiting us. She looked great. Not pain at all, dressed up and ready for a great evening. Am I a candidate for all on four? Many different types of patients are good candidates for all on four implants. If you have lost all or most of your teeth or need to have all of your teeth removed, you may be a good candidate for all on four. Patients who have experienced bone loss can also be good, good candidates for all on four. All on four implants are the most cost effective way to replace an entire upper or lower set of teeth. So they are often the best choice for patients who are on a budget. If any of the following options sound like you, you might be the perfect candidate for all on four dental implants. First question would be, I have been suffering from gum disease, bone loss and unstable teeth. I have dentures which are quite uncomfortable. Most of my teeth are in a, in a really bad condition or I'm missing a lot of my teeth. I will tell you now something about aftercare and what is the most important thing when you get your perfect teeth and come back home. When you get your teeth done, please don't forget to take care about them. You need to use toothbrush, interdental brush and water pick on everyday basis. And don't forget that your implants need to be checked up by dentists every year. I will show you now one example of a patient who wanted the reconstruction of his upper and lower jaw. Because of uh, the new regulation, GDPR, let's call him John. Uh, John is 45 years old man from Dublin who sent us an x-ray and he said that he would like new teeth. After examination of X-ray, it seemed to us that he's a great candidate for on four in both jaws because all of his teeth are either destroyed by infection or missing. We sent him a financial offer and asked him to do a CBCT scan. After he sent us a CBCT scan, we were sure that all on four is only and the best solution for him. 
On that scan, we do the measurements and decision in what position we will put the implants and what size we will use. John decided to come here. He is he's very nice and sympathetic man, but insecure, shy, with lack of confidence and embarrassed because of smile. This is the photo of John after procedure. The implants are placed and he is ready for impressions. Here we are taking necessary stuff for technician. One of the main stuff are impressions. Here are the impressions of the jaw. After 24 hours, he came and we put him his new teeth, which fitted excellent. Look at him, so proud of himself, smiling. We would also like to show you a few more examples of after cases. This lady suffered from uh, periodontal disease and her teeth were very movable. We took them out and this is her with new teeth in upper jaw. This is other lady. She came with old bridge under which her tooth are destroyed. This is her with new smile going to the theater. Uh, the next picture is uh, one man. Uh, he suffered from lots of pain in upper jaw. His teeth were in really, really bad condition when he came. And this is now, now when uh, he left from our clinic. For the end, I will tell you what do you need if you decide to go abroad for dental treatment. Success or failure of implants depends on the health of the person who is receiving it, drugs which impact also integration, and the health of the tissue in the mouth. That's why before you are going abroad, tell the dentist to choose all medications you are taking. Even better, you can fulfill the FDI questionnaire. Also, CBCT scan is necessary. You can take it either in your country or when you come to your dentist abroad. Thank you all for your time. I hope I gave you some answers on what you were interested in and how all on four procedure works. For any questions, feel free to ask me. Thank you very much, Dr. Andrea. Uh, it was a very Thank nice presentation. Um, okay, uh, now it's time for questions. Mm -hmm. I will have some questions as well. Um, mm -hmm. uh, perhaps you can answer them. Um, okay. Okay, there's first first question from Kevin. Hi, my name is Kevin and I'm thinking about all on four on upper job. I smoke mm -hmm. a lot. Is it possible for smokers to do all on four? Can I answer right away? Yes, you can answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mostly, uh, what is really bad, uh, we did a lot all on fours uh, at person who are smokers. Uh, what we uh, want to tell them, just after the surgery, it would be great for 24 hours not to smoke after the surgery. However, if you're a smoker, your dentist may be less happy to recommend implants to hold your false teeth. But that is the habit and uh, it is very, very uh, obvious that you go then every six months to dental uh, hygienist to clean everything around implants and uh, around fixed bridge. And uh, we hope everything will be fine. We didn't have any reclamation with smokers. It is same, uh, implants act same like natural teeth. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Uh, we have one more question from Kevin. Mm -hmm. uh, could you also let me know what are the other obstacles um, um, to have dental implants? Mm -hmm. What are the contraindications? Uh, some system disease. Uh, for example, uh, osteoporosis, if they are taking some medications. Uh, also uh, diabetes, but it needs to be under control. So if you are taking medications, uh, then uh, we need to see uh, what medications, uh, how often and uh, for how, how long time. Then hormones also. But all of those uh, illness, if they are under control and uh, if you are taking medicines every day, then uh, you can do all on four. Actually, you can do every implant. 
Okay, that was interesting what you said. So uh, taking mm -hmm. hormones is or also can be also a contraindication uh, for all four. Not contra. Uh, if you have problems with hormones like uh, thyroid and uh, menopause, okay, at woman, then if you are under control with those hormones, then uh, putting implants is fine. But if it is not under control, then better not. I see. Okay. All right. Before you mentioned uh, about patients with gum disease, uh, mm -hmm. I was wondering. Um, so, um, dental implants can be placed on gums uh, which are problematic, or first a patient needs some kind of gum treatment. How does uh, it work? Okay. Uh, when a person has gum disease, periodontal disease, or something like that, uh, we need to take out all of it, and the surgeon uh, does a huge cleaning. And uh, oral, oral care at those patients need to be perfect afterwards. Because gum disease is a first, di first disease uh, why you lose your teeth, your natural teeth. Mm -hmm. And uh, when uh, you are teached how uh, to clean around implants, it shouldn't be any problems because when we move your infected teeth, then gums uh, recover. Okay. Did you understand? Okay. Yes, yes, perfect. Mm -hmm, that's okay. fine. And uh, can the teeth be extracted uh, on the same day just before? It is the always treatment? the same day. No, it always is always the same day because when we extract the teeth, we do the cleaning of the bone, of infection in the bone. And that's why we put implant in a healthy bone. And that's why uh, we move gum disease. There is no gum exactly. disease anymore. So after that, just check in every one year at the dentist and gum disease shouldn't come. You need just to clean them perfectly. That is most important that you clean implants perfectly. And it is really not, not heavy. It's important because some patients may not be aware of that. Okay, uh, we they have one more. They think uh, that uh, when they get something uh, like artificial, they don't need to take care about that. But uh, gum disease can always uh, come again. Because uh, implants are like your natural teeth, you know, same, same thing. We Which call them third teeth. Yes, we call them third teeth. Okay. First are milky teeth, second are teeth, and third one implants. And then you have dental implants. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, we have a question from Jacob. Uh, hi, my name is Jacob, and I'm wondering, is it possible to do the treatment during one journey, during one trip, one stay at one the clinic? Journey. Okay, during the one journey, you can do, do just the temporary bridge. So you should come twice because in the first visit, we do the implants and put temporary acrylic bridge. And after six, three to six months, uh, the gum uh, are not swollen anymore. So there is a like hole between gums and the uh, bridge all, on all on four. And it doesn't look really great. And acrylic is not so quality uh, bridge as zirconium or titanium. And that's why it is necessary to come again after three to six months. So uh, we do the new bridge that will fit perfectly on your gums and implants. Because after all uh, extraction of teeth, the gum after two months and the bone reduces. Thank you very much. Okay, so maybe additional question from me. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so let's say um, I come for the second visit to get mm -hmm. my permanent uh, bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess you are going to take uh, the impressions of yes. the gums again, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. how long do I wait for the permanent bridge to be made? Uh, for permanent bridge, we need five to seven working days. And uh, you should be here all the time because first we take impressions, and then after that we have two, three, three times uh, try in, and then uh, fourth time uh, we put uh, final work and screw it. Okay, so five, five to, to seven, seven days. days. Yes. Okay. Yes. So not, sure. not very long time. No, no. It can be done in five days if you uh, in advance uh, call us three weeks before then we organize to be done in five days because that is a lot of work uh, for our, our technician. But five to seven days is perfect to do the great work. Fantastic. Okay, we have one more question from Kevin. Mm -hmm. um, 
what are the advantages of all on four and all on six? Uh, I have heard about both methods. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all on four is a method where we put four implants and the left two implants on the left and the right side go under ankle. Uh, they are angled. Uh, on that way, uh, we use uh, the bone we have. So if you don't have bone, and mostly people don't have bone at teeth number five, six, and seven. Uh, so that's why we are using bone what you have, and that is mostly in front area of jaw. Uh, when you need to put six implants, we put six straight implants. And then you need to have great bone where your tooth number six is. And mostly there is no enough bone and we need to do sinus lifting. And that is expensive procedure, that is operation. And uh, we need to put lots of artificial bone. And the main problem with all on six is that uh, we cannot uh, do uh, uh, permanent uh, work teeth on uh, those implants. We need to let them, let them also integrate. And it takes three to six months. And if you do sinus lifting, even eight months. So in that period, you need to wear dentures. And that is, that is okay, the that, that's huge a major difference. difference. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. And exactly. Uh, price, of course. All on six is sure. more expensive. So for all on six, uh, you do not get uh, a temporary bridge. No. You just have to denture. wear your old dentures. Yes. yes. Which is or new denture. We can make your new denture, but it is still a denture. So you need to take it out, uh, uh, brush it. And with all on four in 24 hours, you get fixed it that you cannot move out. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, Kevin says, thank you. Uh, now I understand mm -hmm. the other dentists recommended mm -hmm. all on six and I didn't know the difference. Okay. Well, all on so. six is great. Just you need to be ready for maybe eight to one year uh, until you will get your uh, fixed it. Mm -hmm. Great. Yes. A uh, question from Jacob. Um, how can you help me to survive and look well during the time uh, till the crown stage or the bridge stage? Yes. Uh, during the time. Uh, does he think uh, this first in 24 hours? I think it's the question about uh, the implantation uh, procedure. Well, mm -hmm. as you said, uh, patients get temporary bridges. Yes. So they can, uh, they look well from day one. Is that right? They look really great because we, we give them antibiotics and uh, some uh, painkillers. Uh, also, very often corticosteroids. Uh, they need to take corticosteroids for three days. But uh, really, we take uh, 12 teeth out, uh, take impressions, uh, put four implants. In 24 hours, they get a new set of teeth, and we didn't have anyone, anyone that had any pain. Unbelievable. I can't believe it, but it is really the truth. Yes, and modern is dentistry very, is fantastic. Very often when you come, yeah, it is very uh, important after the surgery that you put ice on your face. And if you put ice for two, three hours, you won't be swollen. If you go out on sun uh, on 35 degrees and uh, walk around the city, then you will swallow for sure <laughs> okay, that's uh, pretty good advice uh, thank you very much uh, yes. okay you mentioned that you use local anesthetic um, yes. um, during the implantation um, so some some patients are afraid of injections uh, mm -hmm. how many injections uh, do I need uh, to get the anesthetic huh. how many <laughs> <That's> <laughs> is, really... it, is there any role it depends. No, it depends how many teeth we need to take out, to pull out. If you need to pull out three teeth, then uh, around four to five anesthetic is done. But uh, if you need more, then uh, more. We don't go uh, over seven or eight uh, anesthetic. It depends right. of uh, how many kilograms, uh, how big uh, the person we are implanting uh, is. Okay. What about if the patient is uh, toothless? Um, if the patient is toothless, everything is done in uh, implantation is done in half an hour. 
and uh, after that uh, we take in patients maybe an hour we need uh, an hour for that and uh, under two anesthetic or three everything is done okay so the inserting four implants is half an hour uh, is that right for implants in uh, jaw where there is uh, no any teeth we need uh, half an hour 45 minutes great yeah it goes really fast because uh, we need cbct when we have cbct we have great plan we know perfectly on millimeter where we are going and uh, what size of implants we are taking okay thank you very much welcome um I was wondering, um, uh, after the procedure of implantation, um, can, a pa can a patient drive? Uh, can he drive yes. Uh, yes. to the hotel? Yes. Or, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. yes, yes, yes. Uh, we usually give them a ride. We give them a ride, but uh, they can. Some of them uh, want to go by themselves, and that's okay. But if they decide to come here, we always provide them uh, to transportation, to cleaning, and uh, to hotel. Okay, we have a question from Jacob about the cost. Uh, what does the cost uh, include? So what, uh, what am I paying for if I'm paying for the whole package on for? What is included? Okay, uh, implants in first uh, phase when you come. First you pay implants and uh, temporary teeth. Uh, after three to six months, when you come to do your uh, permanent teeth, you're paying for permanent teeth. So uh, the price depends uh, of the brand of the implant you are uh, using. What we do here is uh, Noble Biocare implants and uh, Neodent. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, do we have any more questions? Let's check. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have two more questions. Mm -hmm. Question from Jacob. Uh, which implant is better, Noble or, uh, well, the it's other one you mentioned? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would always recommend Noble. Noble is top, top implant. Noble, Strauman and Astra. And Noble is like a Ferrari in cars. Noble, Bentley in car. The other one, Neodent, is a middle range implant. It is like in cars, Volkswagen, Opel, if I can make some comparison. <laughs> so um, does it mean that noble implants will last you longer? Um... No, no, it doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that uh, it will last uh, longer. But noble is a fabric uh, that has uh, 80 years uh, been producing implants. And they have... Uh, their uh, name and uh, with neodent that is a uh, fabric uh, that uh, exists uh, 30 years so uh, we don't have uh, so many years uh, how do you say uh, feedback feedback of uh, implants what they put uh, like 35 or 40 years ago and with noble we have but both of them implants and noble and neodent uh, get, give us a uh, lifetime guarantee. So that is really, I <laughs> like Ferrari, thanks for your answer. <laughs> Me too. Yes. Okay, so patients know what is good for them. Yes. And great. Noble, Noble, what is uh, very important to tell you, Noble invented Olam4. Just Noble Biocare, they invented it. And all other implants just copy the Noble, follow it. Okay, that means that they that they must be uh, the best. Uh, they are the best in all on four. Yes, yes. All right, uh, we have one more question. Mm -hmm. uh, what is uh, FDI questionnaire? FDI questionnaire? I think you mentioned this before in the presentation. Yes, yes, I did. Uh, when you Google FDI questionnaire, uh, you get a questionnaire where you put your uh, name. Uh, illness uh, medicines you are taking it is a worldwide dental questionnaire that uh, we use uh, before our patients uh, come and uh, before we uh, start uh, to do uh, implantation 
uh, it asks you if you are suffering from any disease. Uh, have you been uh, treated uh, over the last two years? Uh, so some, uh, if you are taking medical drugs. So when we see that, when you feel it, then uh, we know uh, how is your uh, health. And it is just a FDI questionnaire. When uh, you put on uh, Google, you can get it, uh, print it and uh, fill and send us. So we prepare in advance. Okay, thank you. That's very convenient by mm -hmm. patients, I think. Um, I was wondering, uh, while I'm waiting for my uh, permanent uh, bridge, um, mm -hmm. Uh, can is it possible to see uh, my new smile uh, some kind of a simulation um, on the screen? Do you do something for pa something like this for patients? Uh -huh. When uh, you are uh, waiting for uh, permanent, yes. For yes. temporary, no. Yes. For permanent, uh, you can see simulation. Uh, our technician can do that. For permanent, no, because we don't have time for that. Uh, because when you do all on four, it is very important in uh, the top 48 hours to put a bridge on implants. Uh, after that, we cannot uh, do anything on them. Because uh, after we put those four implants, in 48 hours, they have a most uh, uh, like primary stabilization, very strong stab stability in the bone. And after that, after 48 hours, it is uh, going low. So after that, uh, we don't want to do anything with them. And uh, that's why we don't have time when we do temporary to put uh, in computer, but uh, for permanent. For the... Thank you. That sounds, uh, sounds, sounds reasonable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so you mentioned that the second visit, um, getting the uh, permanent bridge is about five to seven days. Uh, what yeah. about the first visit? Uh, extractions, implants, and the permanent, uh, sorry, temporary uh, bridge. Um, how long a patient needs to stay at your clinic during the first stage? During the first, for, uh, 24, uh, two or three days stop. So 24 hours or the day after, just uh, that we can check if he is okay and to rest a little bit the day after. But we have so many of them that, uh, for example, on a Tuesday uh, at 6, we put implants. And uh, tomorrow on Wednesday at 6, uh, everything was done at 8, they flew back home. So in Two, four days. hours, everything can be, but we like just three days. So we can uh, control and to see bites. Because sometimes after 24 hours, you get a, a new set of teeth. And you cannot, as a patient, you cannot feel, do you bite? Uh, even on left or right side so the day after after you eat something you feel and have a better feeling of it so we like uh, just to come and to visit us to see if everything is fine okay speaking of eating uh, um, after a patient gets a term um, temporary bridge mm -hmm. uh, do they have to follow any special diet um, no after no other... no you can eat whatever you want as uh, like as uh, your natural teeth. Fantastic. Right, right away, right away with temporary. Okay, maybe teeth. alcohol is not allowed uh, straight after the procedure. Uh, uh, not a... uh, until you are under antibiotics, and not yes. eat bones. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's check if we have more, any more questions from the viewers. Yes, mm -hmm. we have a question. What will happen if the implantation fails? Uh, I know it's unlikely to happen. Uh, however, um, I often <laughs> have bad often luck. Have bad luck. <laughs> it, it is uh, very good because uh, you have a lifetime guarantee on implants. And if uh, implantation fails, we, send, we have a lot number on each implant. So uh, we send the lot number to Fabric and they send us a new implant. A new implant we put in bone, and a second time it won't fail, for sure. <laughs> One okay. time it can fail, second time, no. Not possible, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, thank you. Uh, I've heard about uh, ceramic implants. Um, do you do ceramic implants at all? Ceramic implants we don't do, still no, mm -mm. no. They are not investigated yet, so we didn't. We didn't. They are uh, more like uh, 
like a glass and uh, they can break and still uh, I think actually anywhere in the world it is not so popular still they are still investigating about that okay it should okay. pass maybe 10 years then we will start when we see how uh, other doctors who are doing it uh, have um, uh, how do you say like more no, research we need more research yeah side effects side effects mm -hmm. all right okay so a follow up question uh, so after uh, an implant failure and getting no, a new no. implant do no. i have to pay for a new no. implant no 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 new implant uh, is a uh, uh, lifetime guarantee so you are not paying for new implant mm -hmm. thank you okay Okay, so maybe can you tell us a bit more um, about the patient journey abroad? Uh, do patients need to um, um, prepare anything else or what kind of um, uh, services you have for patients uh, who are coming from other countries? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so uh, what we like uh, before uh, all of that, uh, we, like us, we like you uh, to send us FDI questionnaire and the CBC team, that is important, so uh, we can make uh, plans. Uh, we uh, pick up a patient on airport and uh, we pay for them a hotel or a apartment. We like that you are in apartment because you have your fridge, you can cool and uh, it is easier for patients what we notice. Uh, we also have transports from uh, apartments to our cleaning and back and uh, we give them a ride back to uh, airport after everything is done. So actually you don't need to take anything. We provide you with antibiotics, uh, painkiller. Uh, we do a X-ray here before and after implantation. So we actually have everything I think you will need. You don't need to take anything with you. You need just to know if you are allergic maybe of some antibiotics like uh, penicillin so that we no, know uh, to give you other type of antibiotics okay thank you uh, you mentioned x-rays and medication uh, uh, are those included in the total price uh, or do they have yes. to pay extra no no x-rays and uh, medications are included in the price good mm -hmm. we have that in our clinic x-ray they don't need to go anywhere else so it is included uh, we do uh, get some questions from patients about uh, allergy uh, to titanium. Uh, is that common? Is that possible to be allergic to uh, titanium no, implants? No, 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 no. That's why we put uh, titanium because they're not. Uh, you cannot be allergic on titanium. Exactly. Okay. It is biocompatible you. material. There are few cases. There. Are few cases but it is uh, not uh, investigated and we don't have any patient that is allergic uh, because that is uh, in all medicine uh, it is a uh, material that uh, doctors use okay. for hip uh, knee uh, implants in the jaw so all of them are made uh, of titanium okay thank you let's check if we have any more questions mm -hmm. Not for now, uh, I think uh, there is some thank you message from a patient. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Kevin. <laughs> okay. I hope everyone understood me. And my English, I didn't talk. For yes, a long no time. problem. I'm sure. I'm sure uh, everyone understood. Thank you, Jacob. <laughs> okay. I think Andrea. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yes, maybe no, it's small okay. Mistake, but it's the day. It is the day. It happens. It's a it's a live <laughs> event. Okay. Okay. Okay, Doctor Andrea, would you like to add anything else? Um, if we don't have any more questions. Uh, We can go back to our presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, let's 
check the side. If anyone has uh, any more questions to Dr. Andrea uh, and her team, uh, uh, you can contact the clinic directly uh, from the clinic's profile on Dental Implants Friend, or you can email me and I will get you in touch with Dr. Andrea and you will be able to email her directly. Um, Dr. Andrea, uh, thank you very much uh, for all your presentation. Thank you. thank you, Dorothy, and all of you for support. I just want to add that uh, the whole webinar uh, has been recorded and the video uh, will be put up on our website. So if you didn't, uh, if someone uh, didn't uh, have a chance to watch it or you want to watch it again, you will be able to do it um, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow the video will be up on our website. Uh, so once again, Dr. Andrea, thank you very much. Thank you very much to our you participants. Have a good night. Yes. Uh, Good night. Thank you very Bye. much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.